Hello everyone, welcome to my tapping channel. Today we're going to be tapping on gratitude. To utilize gratitude to help raise your vibration, to get you into a feeling state where you're feeling good about what it is you do have. So that when you're doing law of attraction work and manifestation work, you can then just go to the next level of then tapping on what it is you're wanting to experience. You can use tapping for manifestation work because tapping affects the nervous system. It affects your emotions. So as you're going through a scenario that you want to experience and you're tapping on it at the same time and feeling gratitude at the same time for experiencing it, you are creating that feeling place. So you're using your imagination to have the thoughts and you're allowing yourself then to feel into the high vibe feelings that will help you bringing yourself into that situation. Before we do the tapping though, my name is Sandra. I'm the author of Tapping Into Abundance using EFT tapping and the law of attraction to change your mindset and turn your life around. And if you wanna do just that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. And if you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, or if you want to talk to me about any areas of your life that you're feeling stuck and you think that tapping would be able to help you, I do offer a free clarity session. It's a half hour Zoom call where we get onto Zoom. I ask you a lot of questions to get you clear about what it is that you're struggling with so that you can have that clarity. Sometimes you think it's one thing, but it actually turns out to be something else. Or sometimes you're just feeling a little confused or lost about what the problem actually is. And a clarity session can just help give you that clarity. There's a link in the description field below this video for how you can book that one-on-one -on -one session for me. You can also go on to my website, mysterywitchschool.com to find out what other courses I offer on uh, shadow work for example or that involves tapping i have a course called the wheels of empowerment that's a diy course so you can have a look at that and anything else there that uh, you may be interested in so with gratitude a lot of people talk about gratitude a lot of people say you know be grateful for this be grateful be grateful and you may already be doing a lot of gratitude work and it can be very difficult sometimes, particularly if you really are down and you're really in a slump, to know what to be grateful for. Sometimes we can get into such a negative mindset that it's almost like there's nothing to be grateful for. Everything seems to be just heading south and just going uh, to hell, you know, really, really fast. But there's always something there to bring your vibe up. There's something there to be grateful for. And by tapping, not only are you calming your nervous system down so that you are going to be able to think more clearly, it's also going to help raise your vibration. And then it can segue you then into then tapping on what it is you actually want to have happen. When you're having a hard time with something, like something's not going well in your life, rather than focusing on it and worrying about it, if you really want to use manifestation, if you really want to use law of attraction and, and use your divine right to be able to create your own reality, instead of dwelling on what's negative, simply accept it that it is what it is and accept it, but keep focusing on what it is you want to have happen, what you want to hear, what you want to have happen. And a way to transfer you or transform you from being in that negative place to being in a, a more of a high vibe place is to tap on what it is you already have happening for you. So we're gonna do some tapping now, just as an example of how you can tap on the things that are going good for you, even if they're just really, really little things. So karate, not karate, your point, sorry, the tapping on the points between the eyebrows and going through all the points, even though It's so difficult to be grateful right now. I don't want to be grateful right now. I just want to dwell on what's going wrong.
it's almost as if by dwelling on it I'm fixing it in some way But I'm just feeling more and more uncomfortable. Worrying more and more. When really, I could be creating a better outcome. And even if I don't get the outcome I want. I can make this process an easier process. I don't have to suffer so much. There are things I can be grateful for right now. I'm here right now. I have a home. I'm grateful for that home right now. There are people in my life who love me. And I'm grateful for that. I have food I can eat. I'm grateful for that. When I look out the window, I see the sky, the beautiful sky. And I'm grateful for its beauty. I'm grateful for the clothes that I have. I'm grateful for the money I have. I'm grateful that I can buy food. I'm grateful that I can buy clothes. I'm grateful that I can see the beauty around me. And taking a deep breath and letting it out. Now there may be different things for different people, but focus on the, the things around you that you do have that are working for you. Even if you don't have a lot of money, and money is something you really struggle with, be grateful for the money you do have. Be grateful for what you have spent your money on. Even if it's money for the bills, 
be grateful that you have what those bills provide you with, like electricity, for example, that you're grateful that you have electricity, that you're grateful that you have water, that you're grateful that you have those things. And just being grateful for, and you'll discover that you'll have a list of things that you can be grateful for, even if they're only small things or they're things that you've just taken for granted that you never really thought about uh, before. The sky, the, the trees, um, flowers, whatever you can see out your window, even if it's only other buildings, what can you find about those other buildings that you might be grateful about? Uh, what is it? Any, any small thing that you can see or find that you find attractive or, or beautiful is something to be grateful about, the beauty around you. It could be a butterfly. It, it could just simply be the way that the sun is shining on something that gives it a sense of beauty. Tap on that and be grateful that you're able to witness that beauty. And then if you are in a situation, so for example, in a money situation where you, you, you are struggling with money, then start to talk about what your life is like now that you have all the money that you could possibly ever need or desire as you're tapping. And then start being grateful for that, even though in reality, in 3D, you haven't seen it yet. Start tapping as if you already have it and allow your imagination to just go for it and see where you are. Where are you now? I'm grateful for this beautiful home that I own and I'm here now with my, my partner, if that's what you want. And if it's children, your children, pets, where it is, I'm, as I look out the window, I'm so grateful that I see the, the, the ocean or the, the woods or whatever it is you want to see when you look out your window. And just allow your imagination to create for you the situation that you want to be in. If, if it's health, you can see the results of the health, you know, you tap how grateful you were when you, you went to the doctor and the doctor was surprised because, you know, you're, you've recovered so well or someone you know that you might be worried about has recovered so well and you're, you're putting yourself and your imagination in the situation as if what you really want has already happened and you're giving gratitude for it already happening. And it might feel weird at first. It might seem, it might, you might feel resistance to this sort of thing because it's not in 3D and you may feel like you're kidding yourself. But if you keep practicing this every day, you will start to notice that things do change around you when you do this kind of practice. If you focus on what it is that you want as opposed to f focusing on what you don't want, as hard as it is, it actually works, it, it does work, but you do have to put the effort in and you do have to allow yourself to feel uncomfortable doing it at first. The tapping will help with the discomfort because it calms the nervous system down, but it, it really is the way to change your mindset and change your life at the same time. So try that tapping, tap on all the things that you're grateful for, notice the change that it makes in your body you may even notice that you get new creative ideas from doing this. You might be tapping away at what you're grateful for and then all of a sudden a thought will come into your head of, oh, I could do this or I could go there or I remember so and so. What if I call them? That kind of thing can happen when you're tapping. You start to get creative ideas because you're calming your nervous system down and so the creativity can start coming in then. But while you're caught up in worry and the, the negative, the you can't focus on the creative. You can't focus on the solutions. The solutions won't come because the focus is, is so much on the panic and all of these chemicals are going through the nervous system. So try that tapping on what you're grateful for and then extend that if you feel you want to create something different, extend that then to what you're grateful for that hasn't necessarily manifested yet in the 3D reality, but you want it to manifest in 3D reality and just practice that every day and get used to thinking in the wish fulfilled as opposed to thinking in what is in 3D reality. And once again, if you want to have a clarity session with me, you want to do some coaching to remove some of those beliefs and blocks that you do have about yourself and the world that are stopping you from being able to create the life you want to create, the clarity session there's a link in the description field below this video if you like the video hit the like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe i am sandra and i will see you on the next video